In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to draw stars in your Vectrix software. Over in your design tab, simply go under create vectors and use this icon here to access the draw star tool. First thing you need to do is set the number of points you wish your star to have. You can use these arrow buttons to guide you through the different values, or alternatively, you can just use your keyboard to enter the number of points you wish your star to have here. Now the easiest way to draw your star once you've set the number of points is to simply come over into your job space and manually draw that out with your mouse. So to do that, you simply press your left mouse button down and then drag your mouse out and then you can see by moving it out we're making that star bigger, moving it closer to where I dragged from we're making that star smaller and once you're happy with the size of your star simply let go and it will create that shape for you. Now here you're able to further edit your star should you wish to. For example you can adjust the outer radius so the outer radius is from this point here to the center of the star so it's from any point to the center and you can change that by simply using the outer radius handle like so and just dragging that out using your mouse or alternatively if you wanted to be precise you could set that by typing in a value here for example I could put three in there followed by the enter key and that will update that for me there. We also have the ability to adjust the inner radius so that is from the center of the star to the inner points of your star so this is your inner radius in which case I can take this handle here and if I click on that I can drag that and you can see it's adjusting the inner radius like so alternatively again if I wanted to be precise here I could simply set that uh, to an exact one inch by typing that in and then pressing enter and it will do that there for me so when I hover over I'm able to see that so that one inch inner radius and then outer radius we've got three inches there. If I wanted to alter the number of points whilst I've already created this star I can simply come over here adjust the number of points using those arrows and then press apply and it will just update that there where it still retained my outer and inner radius as we set originally. Now if I'm happy with the star that we've got here and I want to create duplicates of this with the exact same settings, I can do that by simply just then clicking in and around my job into positions where I want those stars to be and they'll all be uh, exactly the same as the first one. Now whilst you are in the draw star tool you can edit other stars in your job simply by holding down shift and then selecting the star in question where it will then select it and you're able to edit that using the handles, the fields or obviously using the form as well. Now to close out simply press that close button, I'm just going to delete this vector and this one and this star also and we're just going to select uh, the star that we created originally and it's worth noting that once you have come out of the draw star tool you do still have access to the uh, outer radius and the inner radius functionality whilst in transform mode uh, and so you can adjust those according just as we showed you when we created the shapes originally. And if you press E on your keyboard, that will open up the form in which that shape was created, which is the draw star tool, uh, which we can then go ahead and further edit should we want to adjust the number of points, for instance, we can do that there. And that's how you draw stars in Vectric software.